Today I want to share with you this exciting topic. We will learn Mandarin and some idioms from Westlife online concert because they were seeing Chinese in the show. If you are a Westlife fan or you have ever heard about their song before, don't hesitate to leave a comment and tell me about your idea. If you are new to my channel, you can learn helpful Mandarin phrases and vocabulary from drama and movies. Apply them to your daily life. Also, you can learn about Taiwan's culture and common using terms on my channel. Alright, today we will dive into three parts to the Mandarin from Westlife online concert Chinese song, Ping Fan Zhi Lu, The Ordinary Road. I will introduce some beautiful Mandarin vocabulary from lyrics in the first part. For the second part, I will use those vocabularies to make the sentences that you can use in your daily life. And for the last part, let's learn about some idioms from the lyrics. Okay, the very first part of the vocabulary is Pai Hui. Let's watch this clip first. Pai Hui well, this vocabulary is not a common use when speaking Mandarin and describe someone is hesitate to do or decide something because we would love to use yu yu more than pai hui. So repeat after me. Pai hui. Pai hui. Okay, but don't worry, I'll make a sentence that you can use in your daily life in the second part. The following vocabulary is 沉默, which means quiet. You can describe about a person's or the prison status. Also, this is not a common speaking vocabulary because we prefer to say 安静. Repeat after me. 沉默, 沉默. The last vocabulary is 渴望, desire. The common using language when we speak Mandarin is 非常想要. Translate directly from Mandarin would be very want to da, 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 instead of 渴望. But let's try to repeat after me. We say 渴望. 渴望. All right, I want to express my opinion about Westlife pronunciation. If I don't see the lyrics only by listening, whose pronunciation can I understand? Because I saw lots of comments criticizing or complimenting their Mandarin pronunciation. Okay, so the best pronunciation I would give to Mark Feely. Let's take a look of this part when he pronounced 失望, 失落, 失掉. Most of my students have a hard time pronouncing retroflex in Chinese, like 知, 吃, 吃. Especially, he has to pronounce this one three times more in the same lyrics. Before going to make a sentence from a vocabulary, I would like to introduce one sentence when I heard the song, which is 无法自拔. How can I use this sentence and what does it mean? So let's explain this one first. 无法自拔 means be so profoundly involved that one cannot get away. How about we try to make a sentence to make you understand about that? But before that, subscribe to my channel if you find some vocabulary that you never knew before in today's video. Okay, so the first sentence with 无法自拔 is Gambling is a nasty habit, and people get in over their heads day by day. In Chinese, 赌博是一个恶习. 
，人们会渐渐的深陷其中，无法自拔。赌博是一个恶习，人们会渐渐的深陷其中，无法自拔。And here has our second phrase, which is 徘徊 I will use this vocabulary to describe when someone hesitates to do something for quite a long time. In Chinese, 你去劝劝他，叫他别再徘徊不定了。赶快做决定吧。In English, you go and urge him to make a call. Stop hesitating. So watch the underlined has again because I combine another word with 徘徊 which is 徘徊不定 to make the sentence smoothly. So repeat after me. 你去劝劝他，叫他别再徘徊不定了。赶快做决定吧。And the following vocabulary should be 沉默 This word is often used to describe the status of a person. For example, your friend can keep quiet and stuck in there for a while, and you feel weird about it, so that you can tell another person about. 他到底发生什么事了？他已经坐在那沉默一阵子了。What exactly happened to him? He has been sitting there quietly for a while. So repeat after me. He 到底发生什么事了？他已经坐在那沉默一阵子了。Okay, guys, we have already made three sentences so far, and let's take a short break because I have exciting news I want to share with you guys. I have one free Chinese New Year class that I want to offer to you, and it's only limited for previous a hundred members to register from Chinese Tutor Land on this website. If you are interested in learning more about Chinese New Year culture, including vocabulary and sentences, you can register as a member from the link that I put down below. They have two schedule for you to choose it. I also put a worldwide time conversion in the description box down below because the class time is follow the Taipei time zone. You can select your preferred time to learn this a hundred percent free Chinese class. Go and register after finishing more beautiful Mandarin sentences. Okay, the last vocabulary with the sentence is 渴望 Desire to do something or achieving the goal. He desired to get the promotion before the new year, so he's working so hard recently. He 很渴望在新年前拿到升迁的职位，所以他最近非常认真的工作。他很渴望在新年前拿到升迁的职位，所以他最近非常认真的工作。All right, guys. What are you desire to get recently? I mean, your goal. Leave a comment and share your goal and your tips about achieving it with me. You can also help other people as well when they see the comment. Finally, the last part introduce the idiom, which is often used in lyrics or in the essay. But that's elegant if you know how to use it correctly in Mandarin. Let's listen to the lyrics first. 同心拥有这一切，转眼都飘散如烟。Okay, so 飘散如烟 This idiom means everything is gone like the smoke. It's full of image and like a poem. But seriously, we don't use this idiom in daily life speaking. At least I never use it in my daily life. Even less, but however, we still can try to make a sentence, and it's related to sad emotion. In English, I grew up in here, but everything is gone like the smoke when I came back here again. 我在这边长大的，但是当我再次回到这里，所有的一切都已飘散如烟。Repeat again. 我在这边长大的，但是当我再次回到这里，所有的一切
都已飘散如烟。Okay, if you have some memory, want to say it, I still welcome you to leave a comment below to share with me. And finally, we have the last part introducing this useful idiom. Yes, that's useful, mainly when you write down a Mandarin essay. <laughs> First, this idiom only has three words to explain. It means lots of people. Simple but useful. Let's make a sentence. 今天那个广场人山人海，因为 Westlife 在那边有小型见面会。The square has lots of people because Westlife has a fan meeting today. Repeat after me. 今天那个广场。人山人海，因为 Westlife 在那边有小型见面会。All right, guys, it's time to review all the vocabularies and sentences. So the first is 徘徊，徘徊 ，and the second vocabulary is 沉默。沉默。The last vocabulary is desire, 渴望，渴望。Okay, and now is our sentence time. 赌博是一个恶习，人们会渐渐的深陷其中，无法自拔。赌博是一个恶习，人们会渐渐的深陷其中，无法自拔。And the second sentence is: 你去劝劝他，叫他别再徘徊不定了，赶快做决定吧。你去劝劝他，叫他别再徘徊不定了，赶快做决定吧。The third sentence is: 他到底发生什么事了？他已经坐在那沉默一阵子了。他到底发生什么事了？他已经坐在那沉默一阵子了。And the last sentence is: 他很渴望在新年前拿到升迁的职位，所以他最近非常认真的工作。他很渴望在新年前拿到升迁的职位，所以他最近非常认真的工作。All right, guys. Last part is our idiom time. You must know how to apply it in your essay because that is really elegant if you know how to apply it, and it much more like um you are a professional Mandarin local speaker. The first one is, 我在这边长大的，但是当我再次回到这里，所有的一切都已飘散如烟。我在这边长大的，但是当我再次回到这里，所有的一切都已飘散如烟。And the second idiom is very useful and simple. 今天那个广场人山人海，因为 Westlife 在那边有小型见面会。今天那个广场人山人海，因为 Westlife 在那边有小型见面会。Okay, thank you guys for watching this video here, and I hope you enjoy today's topic. And also, don't forget to register your free spot under Chinese Tutorland website. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank、you